And here, finally, we have <clears throat> the evidence that the Conservative Party has transformed into UKIP entirely. Nigel Farage has backed Liz Truss 100% as she urges Jeremy Hunt to slash corporation tax in the autumn statement next month. Nigel Farage's imprimatur is all that is needed. First, he enacts Brexit, and now he's enacting the sort of tax cuts that she wanted in the first place. Um, and it, it is extraordinary. Um, Nigel Farage is actually attending the Conservative conference. The first time he's done so in apparently three decades. And uh, why did he show up to Liz Truss's talk? Uh, talk? He's apparently said, um, 100%, I believe in her. I think what they did to her was a huge, huge mistake. What, what was, was that uh, to, to, um, to, to give her lessons in, in moving her hands around? Or was that to uh, get rid of her after 49 days? Um, come on, Nigel. You're more intelligent than this, and you're significantly more canny. This is a nonsense. He says it's a policy that interests him. I think this woman has shown that she's able to stand up, take the abuse, and fight for what she believes in. <laughs> um, she, uh, uh, he says that um, uh, she's, been, um, she's been accused in the Morecambe and Wise uh, sense of playing all the right notes just in the wrong order. Um, well, you know, the problem with doing things in the wrong order and doing things wrongly is that you make a mess. I mean, you know, if, uh, if Beethoven had done all the right notes in the wrong order, we wouldn't be playing him today. Uh, so it's not an excuse, or it is an excuse, but it's a lame excuse, and it doesn't really work. Uh, Truss calls uh, on the Chancellor to unleash business across Britain. That is why I'm calling upon the Chancellor at the autumn statement to put corporation tax back down to 19%, and frankly, if we can get it lower, the better. I entirely agree, by the way, that corporation tax is too high. It's just that when it's, when it's proposed that we lower it, because um, Liz Truss has proposed it, I suddenly start to smell a rat. Why anybody would do anything that Liz Truss suggests is beyond me. Liz Truss brought our country to its knees. If Liz Truss says, jump that way, I'm more likely to jump that way than in the opposite direction. She has said you know, um, uh, that the Conservative Party is the party of business. Well, that was until she got her hands on it. Uh, and Liz uh, and, and, and encouraged Kwasi Kwarteng to... Um, perform the magic of his prodigious package over it. Uh, no, this is um, this this is nonsense. Uh, <laughs> she said, "I think we need to turbocharge the incentives." That is just words. And does she understand what she's actually saying? I I think whoever wrote this rubbish, um, her speech. We need to incentivize local areas. <laughs> to build more homes through giving them tax breaks if they're prepared to get rid of the red tape. I think we need to do it at a level so we are building 500,000 new homes every year. I, I, I agree we should be building new homes. I agree uh, we should be, um, we, we, we be incentivising uh, business, but not if Liz Truss tells me to. Um, Liz Truss apparently was joined at this rally by Priti Patel, Jacob Rees-Mogg, uh, and others. I, it, it is madness. That combination. Failure, failure, failure. Are we supposed to accept advice from such failures? Well, I know Pretty Patel has been desperate to hog the headlines, and so has Jacob Rees-Mogg. Um, I congratulate Jacob Rees-Mogg on his, on his elevation to... Um, uh, to the knighthood uh, on, 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 on the ceremony that he attended um, where the Princess Royal dubbed him a knight, but that's as far as it should go. Uh, it, it's the difference between night and day, and uh, it's time for these people, <laughs> it's time for these people to recognise that they are 
has-beens, and we should not be listening to them in government. They can get back on television and do their television chattering. That is where they belong. <laughs>